All right, hello everybody. This is Epsilon144. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to connect your audio interface to Ableton. Um, I have a video describing how to connect the audio interface to FL Studio as well. Um, they are kind of similar. Well, they're not really. FL Studio goes through a different process, but here in Ableton, it's very simple. Um, I think Ableton's probably one of the most simple digital audio workstations to connect an audio interface to. And all you want to do, as you can see, I have two microphone uh, tracks here because I have two microphones, but basically, um, and they're connected to my audio interface. But to do this, you want to come up to um, live and then preferences. This will open up your preferences. I think it should automatically come to the audio tab. And here within the audio tab, you want to select the driver type as core audio. You only have two options, no audio or core. You want to select core audio. The audio input device, this is where you choose your audio interface. So in my case, I have an Mbox Pro with eight channels in, eight channels out. And you want to choose that for you. It could be whatever your audio interface is. Um, make sure your audio interface is installed. It should come with either a download file or a CD, whatever, to get the uh, actual... Um, installation file for your audio interface make sure that's installed on your computer and then it should pop up automatically once it's plugged in and once it's connected to your uh, computer so mine's the mbox pro it'll show up right there um, if you have any questions about this leave a comment and i'll help you through if you have questions about the installation process or whatever interface you're using some are usb some require like firewire but um pretty much if you have any questions about that leave a comment and I'll help you out but it should pop up here in the audio input devices um, so mine's the Mbox Pro you choose that and then the output is whatever you want to send the audio out of Ableton to so for my case I'm sending it back to the audio interface where my speakers are plugged in and I'm sending it out of my laptop headphone jack which also has speakers or which could have headphones plugged in um, so to do that, I made a thing called a multi-output device, which uh, incorporates both the audio interface, the headphone jack, and it also routes the audio into my video editing software where I'm making this video. So I have the multi-output device, but for you, you can just choose wherever you want to send the audio to, whether it's going to be back to the audio interface where your speakers are plugged in, or to the headphone jack where your speakers are plugged in there. Depending on where your speakers are, that's where you want to send the audio. Um, and depending on what your, your objectives are in using Ableton um, is where your output wants to be. But your input is always going to be just the audio interface. All right, Your input is always going to be just the audio interface. The output is going to be wherever you're sending the audio out of Ableton to, um, you know, output wise. And that's it basically, that, that gets it into Ableton. And then when you have a track here, like these microphone tracks, you wanna make sure you have audio from, you wanna have an audio track first of all, so I'll make one here. Um, insert audio track. And then this thing right here where it says audio from, you wanna choose uh, audio, let's do external in, right? And then you wanna choose the channel that you have audio coming from. Um, that's your channel on the audio interface. If you have a one channel audio interface, make sure you choose one. If you have a two channel audio interface and you want to grab the channel two, make sure you choose two, all right? If you have a three channel audio interface or a four channel, choose three or four. But Ableton Lite only lets you use two, two channels and then you have to get the standard or pro version of Ableton to unlock more audio channels for um, audio recording, stuff like that. But just make sure that that channel there corresponds with the channel on your audio interface. So if your mic is plugged into channel one on your audio interface, make sure channel one is chosen and then make sure it's turned on. All right, so um, turn it on. And you notice that this one here is the same exact as this one here. O three audio and this microphone here are the same exact thing. Um, they're both external in one. So it's basically look, look like that. All right, um, that's how you plug in your audio interface. That's also how you kind of do a little bit of audio routing inputs and outputs. But as a recap, make sure you just come up here to Live Preferences. As your input device, you want to choose the Mbox Pro 8, or um, you, you want to choose your audio interface, sorry. Mine's the Mbox Pro, but you want to choose whatever audio interface you are using um, there as your input. 
all right and that should set up your audio interface with Ableton if you have any questions about this at all please leave a comment below uh, drop a like as well and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching peace